Okay, so first to create a Turnitin assignment, you're going to go over here and either choose one of your options, your containers, your links over here on the left side, or you can create a new content area. And you can name it whatever you want. When you go, when you click on it and you go into that, you're going to see it's blank. So to create a Turnitin assignment, you're going to hover over the assessments tab at the top, click Turnitin assignment, and sometimes Turnitin um, takes a little bit to load, so just give it a minute. Um, a normal paper assignment is more than likely what you're going to need. Hit next step. Once it opens, you will see um, a new assignment. You can title the assignment, whatever it is that you're wanting. Give it a points value if you need to. Um, here you're going to choose if you want to only allow the file types that turn it in, can check for similarity, or you want to allow all. I would just allow the only the file types that they can turn it in, or that turn it in can check. Um, and then if you would like a due date, this is the start date, so this basically just tells you the date and time that students can begin submitting. This is the due date, so when the papers need to be submitted by. And the post date just tells you, or just you can set to um, when they can begin reviewing like any feedback that you've given to them. Down here under optional settings, you can put some directions if you need to. If you want to allow submissions after the due, the due date, yes or no. Um, generate the similarity reports, I would just keep that as a yes, it's kind of the whole point of this. Um, most everything you can kind of go through and just decide for yourself as to whether you uh, would like to include it or not. For instance, if you would like the students to see the similar reports, check yes. If you want to reveal their grades on the post date, check yes. Check it against the standard repository. You can use a rubric if you wish. I'm going to choose no rubric and then you just hit submit and it says okay you have successfully added it so you're going to click okay and you will see it right here so again I'm going to navigate off this page real quick if you go in go into your um, your content on the left you will see it right here students when they will see the exact same oops sorry they will see the exact same thing when they're ready to complete it they just hit new complete they allow it to load and then they upload their paper. You can also upload for them if you need to.